Danielson has taken the mic. He's in the middle of the ring here on AEW Dynamite. It's Wednesday night. You know what that means. You're here with the GOC in Chaos Corner, a live to tape watch along AEW from the executive conference room. Let's listen to Brian Danielson. He just won over Brian, uh, over Moriarty, Lee Moriarty in a beautiful triangle tap out. Let's hear what Danielson has to say. Thanks for being here. Follow me on all social media platforms. Can, I, can we hear him? Calling out Mox. Dynamite's on fire. Nashville, Tennessee tonight. It's been a good show. Thanks for being here. It's a live watch along, live to tape. In the ring, Brian Danielson after choking out Lee Moriarty. Calling out Mox. Let's listen up. Wild thing. We're getting ready to bounce off of Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we're coming over here to the mothership. The YouTube channel of the Guardian of Chaos. I always think of Major League, the movie, and Charlie Sheen's character coming in. Wow thing. I think I love you. I want to know for sure. Don't you dare miss it. Come right back to the YouTube channel, AEW Dynamite. Danielson's clapping for Mox as well. AEW Dynamite, live to tape watch along with the Guardian of Chaos. Because I tell like it is, hey, this could be the new wave. Moxley and Danielson in the ring. Let me tone it down and see what they have to say. Nashville, Tennessee. It's Wednesday night on Chaos Corner, live to tape. Some of them are kids. I was angry, I was poor, I had nothing to lose, and I took a shot at taking down the great American dragon, Brian Danielson. They do have history, that's for sure. AEW Dynamite, live to tape watch along with the old man brand, the over 50 demographic. Entertainment. This is the difference. Uh, it's creative. You don't like it, you don't have to watch it. They're going with some storylines, some history. Giving the fans what they want. Different demographics, ratings aside, it doesn't matter. What is Bruce and Vince doing? I'm just saying, this is my opinion. Over 50 years as a fan... Being in the business over 30 years, I think I have the right to say something. We haven't lost our First Amendment rights yet. Let's hope we never lose our second. I know you're all watching tonight with me too. 
far as I ever went, but I was excited. Finally, I would get a chance to put the one head on my wall I never got to put up there. I would get a chance to slay the one dragon I could never slay. No pun intended. Mox has improved his mic skills. When he was Dean Ambrose in the Shield in the WWE, go back and look at those promos. Not the quality now. Definitely not the quality since he's come back. There's an edge. There's, there's realism to it. There's psychology. That's because he's telling the truth. He's, when you tell a true story, you don't have to make up lies and cover up lies. It relates, it comes across to the fans. Am I right? Pushing the violence again, both guys mocks very aggressive as we know. Danielson back to being as aggressive as he's ever been in his career, ever in WWE, my opinion. Listen, it's always good to be a carpenter. It's always good to give back. And the ones who gave to us, who paved the way for us, pay homage. You always do that in any walk of life, especially in this industry. Been a mark for over 50 years, fans. Proud the fuck of it. Hope you're enjoying it here. What do you think of the ambiance, the light? I'm kind of liking this. My right hand man's running around in here somewhere. Emilio. I could listen to this all night. It's entertaining. They're telling a story. It's psychology, storytelling. If you've noticed, since AEW has gone on for two and a half, almost three years, they've been in the business. It's all about wrestling. They've changed in motion, giving the fans what they want. You see now a lot of the big signings, newer stars coming in, their storylines, a lot of in-ring mic ability. And there's some guys that can talk and push the limit, create, and the fans are going for it. It's working. The ratings are showing it. Over a million now every week on Dynamite. What, 650, I believe, on the regular? For, for Rampage, don't know the numbers on the YouTube, social media. It is different in 2022 than when I met the first time. Much more seasoned, experienced. Now they're going to team up, give back to the guys and the kids in the locker room. Uh, Mox is laying it down. You want to team up, Brian Danielson? I say we meet up instead of team up. Danielson's left in the ring as Mox goes out through the crowd here in Nashville, Tennessee. Boot scooting, boot. Keith Lee. Here we go. Unbelievable promo. The big man. Limitless Keith Lee, man, did WWE fuck up on this one. The provocation for the face of the revolution ladder match, and it's so fitting as the first person to The big man was impressive last week, Keith Lee. The best for last, it is the first This is what pro wrestling is all about. This is my opinion. I'm 100% behind Keith Lee. Phase two, and when I'm done with that, the TNT Championship shall be mine. Okay, promo needs to be a little bit better. A little piss and vinegar, being a little critical, but it's all in love. Keith Lee is fucking amazing. I want to see more. 
Here we go. Again, another favorite of mine. And his look, his charisma, the way he carries himself. I'm not saying they booked him and wrote it the same way. Wardlow. Mr. Mayhem. I like it. He's with Sean Spears. Justin Roberts. Perhaps the best in the business. This ought to be interesting. I like Wardlow. No MJF. None of this inner circle, pinnacle, whole storyline that he was going through. The guy's in tremendous shape. He looks the part. You talk about Keith Lee. You talk about Wardlow. You talk about tradition. This is what I like. And here's the hottest thing going, especially on the internet for all the geeks and dweebs and marks. I'll give him credit. Let me be quiet. Max Caster, Anthony Bowens. Titans. He said Wardlow was MJF's bitch boy. One thing, Bowens is in tremendous shape, physically gifted. This guy is agile, mobile, hostile, definitely nimble. And Max Caster, everyone wants to compare him to John Cena, this, that. His bars are good. His rhymes are okay, but he's no John Cena. And I know I don't have original bars like Castor. I'll give him props. He was the former producer for a Sirius XM for Mr. Scotty Wetzel, Mr. Vegas. Castor and, and Wardlow. I thought it was Bowens for a hot minute there. I'd forgotten there. It's the old man brand. So it's going to, Caster's a big dude. Again, former producer at Sirius XM for Mr. Vegas, Scotty Wetzel, when they were on Mad Dog Radio. Caster's a pretty big guy because Wardlow's big himself. Caster. Have you ever went over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? I mean, the macaroni soggy, the peas are almost, and the chicken tastes like wood. So you say, that's it, I gotta leave this place. I don't care what these people think. I'm just sitting here making myself nauseous with this ugly food that stinks. I'm no Max Caster. Here we go to the picture in picture. Caster and Wardlow. Beautiful uh, suplex by... Uh, Caster double underhook uh, by I'm sorry by Wardlow on Caster again. Caster's a big dude. Uh, I haven't met him in person, but he's a big dude, and somebody verified that for me too. Wardlow now both men are outside with a big clothesline across the neck of Caster, and again that uh, uh, underhook suplex was tremendous. Wardlow has improved as a grappler. Sean Spears lurking around ringside, as we know. Both men outside. Wardlow. Smashing the cranium, the dome piece of Castor on the ring apron as they're on commercial here on the, uh, what, what, what are we on, TBS now? Yes, uh, TBS live, AEW Dynamite, live to tape watch along. Not too many people do this. As a matter of fact, nobody. I'm going to brand it. Wardlow rolls, rolls Castor back into the ring. A broken glass everywhere. People pissing on the stage, you know, they just don't care. I can't take the smell, can't take the noise, got no money to move out. I guess I got no choice. Also, Anthony Bowens at ringside. He's in tremendous shape. And there it is. There's the interference by Bowens. Smashes uh, Wardlow face first into the ring steps. Now, Caster double teaming him all outside the ring. You're missing this uh, uh, on, on TBS because they've gone to the picture in picture. Uh, I, I don't get it. Just, just break for the commercial, do something. But I, I do like the picture in picture. Don't get me wrong. You get to, at least you get to see it. And I guess you don't always have to hear Excalibur and Jr. and, and Tony. Although uh, big props to Jr. Caster taking over a big body slam, uh, actually a suplex onto the ring apron. Rose Wardlow back in. Caster's in for the quick pin. Here we go. Uh, only a one count. Bowen's a big factor outside. Again, Anthony Bowen's one of the hottest guys on the circuit. Not only with the acclaimed, he's got a singles career. Oh, Caster, bitch slap Wardlow. Wardlow come back and does the same thing to Caster. Exchanging rights and lefts right here in the middle of the ring. Wardlow and Max Caster. Platinum. Max Caster. Platinum. Still on commercial as both these men give him forearm shivers. European uppercuts. Wardlow and Caster. 
Uh, surprisingly, a big power slam, big choke slam by Wardlow on Caster. Rolls him over. Looks like he's setting him up here for the power bomb. No, see, Bowens in there to pull Caster out and slide him out of the ring. These guys should be barred from ringside. Meanwhile, Sean Spears is sitting there in the chair. Bowen should be barred from ringside. Now he's up on top of the ring apron, challenging and distracting Wardlow while Caster is outside. He slipped him something. Wardlow's going to chase him out. What are we doing here? This Is this going to be a screw fuck finish? Caster laid out. Looks like he's faking it here to me. Playing possum. Wardlow rolls Caster in. He's got something underneath here. It's obvious. It's obvious what's going to happen here. A uh, uh, Bowens with a big distraction. You're missing all this because this is the most I've talked because they've gone to commercial. We're back live. Spears is now up on the ring. Going for the power bomb. Caster, boom. Looks like the brass knuckles. Down goes Wardlow. Slides him out. Caster going to the top rope. Of course, the ref didn't see it. Never seen this ref before. Caster to the top rope. Drops the big elbow on the big man. Here's the cover. Bowens cheering on the outside. He didn't pin him. Only a two count. Had Caster had pinned him on that, I, I wouldn't have been happy about that fuck finish. AEW, this is the one thing I'm going to be critical about. Too many break-ins, too many run-ins, too much interference. You, you got to pick and choose your spots. It's just me being tough here. It's too bad. You don't like it. I tell it like it is. Change the channel. Caster taking over on Wardlow. Big back body drop by Wardlow in a reversal. Bowens again, outside interference. He's up on the ring apron again. Caster into Bowens. And here goes Wardlow. The big power bomb. Bang, nice. He finally hits it. Let's see if he goes through his regular routine here. Playing to the crowd. I love Wardlow, new Wardlow. This is beautiful. Bang. It just reminds me of old school. That's why I say that. Second one. Bang. Third one. Stop, pose, beautiful. Pins him standing up. I don't know if I like that. Cast to deserve more respect. I get it. It goes with the bink. Uh, the, 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 it goes with the work. And here comes Bowens. Now Bowens is attacking Wardlow. This was the big setup. Wardlow pinned him with foot on the chest. Caster laid out as Wardlow's posing. And now Bowen into interfere. And here's Wardlow taking over on Bowens. Now treating him like a little baby. Bang! Big power bomb on Bowens. Wardlow's a beast. I like him because he's old school, kind of like Keith Lee. Same thing. And now Spears in, giving the chair attacks to the uh, caster and, and Bones, the acclaimed. And they're claiming nothing now. Entertaining. Entertaining. Wardlow, your winner. AEW Dynamite. Live to tape watch long. A chaos corner with your old buddy, the GOC. Here's Mercedes Martinez. DMD, Dr. Britt Baker. I'll be right back, fans. That's going to be a big match, Mercedes and Thunder Rosa. DMD. Hmm. Don't you dare miss it.